Um, so what we're about to do is we're going to put the best runner up MVP seasons of the last, basically from 2000 on into a tier list and basically see which MVP runners up had the best seasons overall compared to each other. So I went through, I think I have nine seasons here um, where guys, some of them are like the most controversial MVP runners up in NBA history. Some of them are guys who just put up crazy stats and just, you know, whoever ended up winning that year had a better story, team success, whatever. So I'm going to go in order here. So the first one I have is the 2002 NBA MVP went to Tim Duncan, who put up 25, 12, and three and two and a half blocks. The runner up that year was Jason Kidd, who I think this was the year the Nets went to the finals. Um, he put up 14.7 points, 7.3 rebounds, and 9.9 .9 assists with two steals. Um, and it was actually pretty close. He had, I think he only lost by, what is this, like 50 points, give or take, in the ward voting. So pretty close in terms of a tight race. So what rating would you give that Jason Kidd um, season on the Nets? Again, 14, 10, and 7, basically. 14, 10, and 7, but he had two steals as well. I mm -hmm. think, yeah, I think you are right. I think that's the year they did go to the finals. Yeah. I don't know how much I'm going to factor that into because this is just MVP. All right. Definitely not as I think maybe B. Yeah, they I'm, went I'm fifty-two. Gonna... They went fifty-two and thirty as well, like as a team. Okay. Um, and I'll go B. I feel like B feels right too. Mm. Like this is an impressive. Like fourteen and ten is not like crazy in today's NBA. You think about older NBA and also Jason Kidd, like being a point guard, also giving you seven rebounds and two steals. Um, is impressive. So I feel like B is probably a good spot for that. All right. Um, okay. The next one I got here is 2002, 2003, Kevin Garnett. This is another Tim Duncan MVP season. Um, this one's not as close. I think the, the award point difference was about a hundred, but Kevin Garnett put up 23 points, 13 and a half rebounds, six assists, uh, 1.6 blocks per game and 1.6 or 1.4 steals per game. Um, so he actually averaged basically the same amount of points as Tim Duncan, averaged about half a rebound more, two more assists. Um, but Tim Duncan did average almost three blocks a year, so he basically doubled his his block total. But it was pretty much on par or above Tim Duncan's counting stats um, that year. So where would you put big tickets? MVP or MVP runner-up season in 2003. They finished 51 and 31. 51. I think this one's definitely A. I think this one's A. Um, okay. it, I was tearing between A and S, but I, I think it's going to be A for me. 13 rebounds, 23 points. Obviously, the defensive impact is crazy. Yeah. Having <laughs> – what was it? 1.6 blocks and 1.4 steals as well. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. But, you know, I think it's, it's going to be A. Okay. Dang, Timmy is ruining it. Like, bro, Timmy is ruining some good seasons, bro. God damn, Tim. Um, I think there's going to be two different Steve Nash MVPs on this list or MVP runner-ups because both of his MVPs are extremely controversial. Uh, so the next one I have here is 2005 MVP runner-up Shaquille O'Neal. This was a very, very tight race, only a 30-point difference. Um, in the final vote tallies, Steve Nash won this MVP, putting up 15 and a half points, 11 and a half assists per game. Shaq put up 23 points, 10 rebounds, 2.7 assists, and 2.3 blocks per game. And the Miami Heat were, let me pull up their record from that season 59 and 23. Um, and ended up going all the way to the Eastern Conference Finals and took the Pistons um, to seven games in the Eastern Conference Finals. I think this one, this one might be B. The only reason why I think it's B is because I'm when I think of Shaq and I think of his MVP seasons, like mm -hmm. 
his like other MVP season are yeah. so great that like, just in comparison, I feel like it just doesn't hit the same. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, the next one I have here is the next season. So 2005, 2006, Steve Nash goes back to back. This one is crazy. So gross. Um, <laughs> he puts up 18.8 points, 10.5 assists. And four rebounds. And the runner up that year was a 21 year old LeBron James who put up 31 7 and 7 with 1.6 steals and a block. Um, Bro, like, what are we talking about here? Which year, which year was this? This was 06? Yeah, so this is, this is 2005 2006 season. Kobe wasn't the runner up this year. Wasn't this the year Kobe had like averaged like 37 or like 36 or something crazy like that? He is he averaged 35 this year. He came fourth in MVP voting. Well, oh, yeah, because they were so bad. I forgot about that. They were terrible. Yeah. I think that team sucked. But yeah, 31. This was 06. How many games did that Cavs team win? 50 on the S. Nine. S, 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 S. This is S. Like, what a couple. They, on, they only won four less games. Than uh than the Suns, bro. Steve Nash like S. <laughs> Just put Brian in S. Bro, I can go on and on about Steve Nash, bro. I feel like he done took away his MVPs. I don't know. Maybe I was a kid back then, so I didn't fully get to watch it live. Maybe you just had to watch it to experience it. Because just looking back, reading the numbers, or just watching it back, it don't. I don't know. I don't see it. I'm sorry. <laughs> look, yeah, look, thirty-one seven and seven. As a 21 year old in 06, bro, 31 points in 06 is crazy. It's like somebody averaging like 38 now. Like everybody on, well, I, I can't say that because Chauncey Billups finished fifth and he averaged basically the same amount of points as Steve Nash. But Dirk finished third this year, 27 points a night. Kobe came in fourth, 35 points a night. D Wade is up here at 27. Shout out Ellen Brand. He on the list, 24 <laughs> uh, a night, too. Be a bucket. Definitely a bucket. Um, but yeah, Steve Nash, both of them, some of the most controversial MVPs. Um, we're going to jump forward a little bit in years here to the 2010, 2011 season, which is Derek Rose's MVP year, the runner up that year. And honestly, you could almost make a case for two different people, but I, I didn't want to put LeBron on here too many times. Um, but Dwight Howard ended up coming second in voting. Derrick Rose won the MVP, 25 points, 7.7 assists, a steal, and four rebounds. Dwight Howard averaged 23 points, 14 rebounds, and 2.4 blocks. And this season, the Orlando Magic ended up finishing with 52 wins, um, but did lose in the first round to the Atlanta Hawks. Mm. But... I mean, bro, 23, 14, and two and a half blocks. And this was yeah. peak of his powers, Dwight, like yeah, different bro. level. Yeah, bro. Cause like like even this whole like little four four year span, it was like damn near 14 rebounds, 13 rebounds, 14 rebounds, 14.5 rebounds. And then this is 20 and two, like 20 and 14, Dwight. Yeah. With two blocks. This one might be S. I might put this one S. Worst S. case, if we see another one that's S and there's too many up there, we'll put them back down. But this okay. one might be up there. We can throw that S for now. We can throw that S for now. Because Orlando Dwight was a different monster. Oh, different was, monster. Oh. I never – when Quentin, Quentin Richardson was talking about playing with him, he said he, like, had to relearn how to play defense. Because he used to, like, somebody get past him and get to the rim, you give somebody a hard foul. And he said there was too many times where he would do that and Dwight would end up punching the shot and it was obviously still called a foul. And Dwight mm. would get mad at him, like, bro, stop doing that. Like, I'm there. I'm always <laughs> going to be there. Like, you need to trust me. That's crazy. <laughs> um, going to jump forward a couple of more years here to the second LeBron James um, MVP here on the list, or MVP runner up. So, this is James Harden's MVP year. Um, so, this is 2017, 2018. So, we know about 2018 LeBron, and mm -hmm. <laughs> what that is is one of the best versions of LeBron. So this year, James Harden won MVP. He put up 30 points, nine assists, almost two steals with five rebounds as well. Um, and Houston 
won 65 games. Um, but LeBron put up 27.5 points, 8.6 rebounds, nine assists, a block, and a steal and a half. And Cleveland won 50 games and probably did not deserve to win 50 games nah. with that team and then went to the NBA Finals, which I know is not really a part of this, but like LeBron was really backpacking this team crazy. Uh, yeah. So where would you put this runner-up season? See, this one, you had to be there. You, this one, you had to be there to watch this one to really understand why this one was crazy because, like you said, backpacking this team this was the year where they like revamped the whole roster at the deadline got a whole brand new roster bron led the league in minutes play and played all 82 games like that yeah that's what you know you had to really be there to understand like the context behind this one so if, if i put mm, if i put dwight at s i might put him at s for now I might okay. have to do it just because I feel, the fact I feel that like he this, is, them. this version of LeBron has to be S tier. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I don't forget. I don't even care about the the individual stats for a second. They won fifty game. Let me put this roster up, bro. They shouldn't have won fifty games at all. Like that's the one with like George Hill. They Shetty got the old Osmond, days. Larry Nance, Kevin Love, uh, Jr. You, Isaiah the Thomas, Wade. Right, like. This roster had no business doing <laughs> anything, <laughs> let alone go to the NBA Finals. Right. Yeah. LeBron was in a different bag. Um, Got a couple more here. The next one is the following season. So Harden won in 2018. He was the runner-up in 2019, putting up 36 Points yeah, per great. game with seven and a <laughs> half assists, two steals, and 6.6 6 rebounds. The Rockets ended up with 53 wins um, and ended up losing to the Golden State Warriors in the second round. The MVP this year was Giannis. This was his uh, first MVP. Um, 27 points, 12 and a half rebounds, six assists, basically uh, a steal and a half and a block and a half a game. And the Bucks were a 60 win team. Um, that year so 36 points a night James Harden this was the year he went on that crazy ridiculous streak I think he had Matter like fact, yeah go ahead go ahead I was that was the year he had what was it like he went like a calendar month without going under 30 points a game yeah nah with the context this is s this is easy s for me I this think the easy yeah. s this might be one or two in terms of like th bro, 36 <clears throat> points per game and not winning the MVP is crazy, bro. This that's to say, I'm not saying it's undeserved, obviously, Giannis mm -hmm. deserved MVP, but it's just that's crazy. This, this Harden right here is the reason why these Harden stands on Twitter is comparing him to D Wade. This, that <laughs> Harden, I'm not gonna lie, if you just watch this Harden, I'd see what they're talking about, but mm -hmm. nah, having 36 points a game that's easy, S bro. He was hooping, bro, absolutely yeah. carrying. The last two we got here are going to be the inverse of each other. So the 2022 MVP was Jokic. That was his back, second of a back-to-back -back MVP run. The runner-up that year was Joel Embiid. Jokic averaged 27 points, 14 assists, 14 rebounds, 8 assists, a steal and a half, and a block a game. Joel Embiid put up 30.6 points per game, almost 12 rebounds, 4 assists, a steal and a block and a half per game. Philly won 51 games that year. The Nuggets won 48. So he also has the edge on Jokic in terms of team success by a slight margin. Um, this was like closer than the year prior because this was the second year in a row that Embiid had come second to Jokic in MVP voting. And this one was very closely contested. Um, this is the one he should have won. That he, if he didn't get hurt, he would have won, right? Like, remember he got hurt later in the season, and then um, like, so I swear he was like leading it, and then he got hurt, and then he he played sixty eight games. Jokic played seventy four, so I would check out. Yeah, because like, I swear the narrative run it was like, all right, this is Joel's MVP. Then he got hurt, and then now that's when he won the MVP. Everyone was like, all right, he finally gets the one that he deserves. Yeah, 
So he he was the first center to put up thirty points a game in a long time. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. See this one, I don't want to put everybody in S. I really don't. I don't mm-hmm. know. This one don't got no like. I feel like Bron carrying him like has some like held a lot of weight to it. Hard yeah. thirty six points. Like I'll put this one A. I'll put this one in A. I don't want to put no one. Feel like this uh, to me. I feel like this is a. I don't keep him put this Jason Kill one at C. Yeah, I'm like, not gonna no lie. <laughs> I was about to say now that like I realized the level of all these other guys, right. you can put Jason Kidd down, bro. Because as much as we just was talking about Steve Nash didn't des- <laughs> didn't deserve yeah. his MVPs, <laughs> that's like the same stat line, oh, bro. Yeah, yeah. you can put uh, Jason Kidd down. Sure. Yeah, um, and we can address the S tier as we go to the next one. So now we're gonna go to the inverse this past season. Embiid got his MVP. He put up 33 points a night, 10 rebounds, four assists with a steal and 1.7 blocks. Jokic comes in second, putting up 24 and a half points a game, almost 12 rebounds, 9.8 assists, so almost a double double with assists, 1.3 steals a game, and 0.7 blocks. Um, we saw what happened in the playoffs to both Embiid and Jokic. Obviously, and B bows out before the conference finals, and Jokic goes and gets his championship and a finals MVP. But where does that regular season stack up in terms of MVP runners up on this list? Ah, this one is tough, man. This one is tough. This one is teetering A and S for me. Because, like, bro, he almost had a triple double. Like, he plays one more game, he gets 10 assists, he has a triple double. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, Mm, the efficiency is crazy too. He shot like sixty percent from the field. Yep, like thirty eight percent from three. Yep, sixty three percent from the field. Switch, put this S and put Dwight down to A. Okay, I think I think we could do that because like the the that top tier right there is like best of the best of the best. Like right. Dwight was like very close, but I don't think he was on that level. So like I want to yeah. put Jokic there, but I don't want too many people on S. Yeah. I think this is I think this is a good list. I think this is right. Both these LeBron years are crazy. Mm-hmm. 36 a night for a season is crazy. Insane. And then Jokic almost averaged a triple double as a center. With that and that crazy efficiency, like, yeah, no, nah, that has to be S. That has yeah. to be up there, bro. And after I know we can't account for what like take into account what he did after that, but I'm sorry, bro. To go on that crazy run, that's definitely S. 